Welcome back to AG Chelsea TV. In today's video, we will talk about Chelsea's new director of football, about Pochettino can help Chelsea renew big stars, and about Bayern want Chelsea to buy Mane. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support us. Christian Pulisic has been linked with a swap deal as he could be heading to Napoli with Victor Osman heading to Chelsea. While Juventus are reportedly interested, that is according to transfer guru Ekrem Connor. While the Daily Mail also has a similar report as they follow Connor in saying Juventus are keen on signing Pulisic. Per the initial report, Pulisic has been offered to Napoli as part of a deal to sign the leading goalscorer in Serie A, Victor Osman. The Nigerian forward led Napoli to their first league title in 33 years and club president Aurelio Delaware Laurentiis has since said Osman is not for sale. Pulisic, 24 is clearly ready to move on from Chelsea and he has just one year left on his current contract at the West London club. So a transfer fee of 20 to 25 million dollars is a reasonable valuation. In recent weeks he hasn't even featured off the bench, he last played almost one month ago, and now seems like the right time for everyone to move on. Atletico Madrid are interested in Marc Cucurella and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in a swap deal for parting ways with Loni Joao Felix this summer. Felix is wanted by Chelsea on a permanent transfer before the start of the next season with the on-loan forward. Despite netting just thrice in 13 league outings since his January move to the bridge, impressing the Chelsea top brass. According to a report from the Evening Standard, Chelsea's plans to sign the former Benfica starlet permanently has been given hope with Felix's parent club Atletico interested in signing Cucurella and Aubameyang. Aubameyang and Cucurella are two of the players that could be pushed towards the exit door at Chelsea just a year into their arrival with Chelsea expressing a desire to reduce Felix's asking price through swap deals. The former Arsenal and Barcelona talisman Aubameyang has been heavily linked with a move elsewhere come the summer following his lack of regular game time for the Blues with AC Milan suggested to be keeping tabs on his situation. Bayern Munich is reportedly hoping that Chelsea will try to sign Sadio Mane from them this summer. The German club is said to be hoping for an offer for the forward. He is valued at around £35 million, pounds, $49 million. Mane was a key player for Liverpool since joining from Southampton in 2016, helping them win the Champions League and Premier League titles. However for some reason he decided to leave Liverpool and joined Bayern last season. Apparently, the Senegal forward wanted a new challenge. Since then, it has all gone south for Mane. First, he suffered a serious leg injury which led to him missing the World Cup for Senegal national team and then he saw his form dip by a lot in comparison to when he was at Liverpool. Sadio Mane has been struggling to score goals or even be involved in the creative gameplay that Bayern is known for. Bayern Munich's interest in selling Mane is somewhat surprising, given that they bought him last summer. However, the club have had some tough encounters with the player. Mane was suspended for hitting his teammate Leroy Sane after they lost to Man City in the Champions League quarterfinals. Since Tuchel has taken charge of Bayern Munich, Mane has only managed to score one goal. It has been his worst form since quite a few seasons. Furthermore, it has definitely impacted the player and his market value has also dropped considerably. Due to this reason, Bayern owner Olivier Kahn might come to the conclusion that it would be best to sell the forward. The imminent appointment of Mauricio Pochettino as Chelsea manager could help finalise talks over a new contract for N'Golo Kunta. That is according to the Daily Telegraph who claim both Kante and Pochettino have shared a mutual desire to work with one another for some time. Kante is out of contract at Stamford Bridge next month, but talks over an extension are well underway, and the arrival of Pochettino could be what prompts him to put pen to paper on the dotted line. The 32-year-old has been plagued by injuries this season but made his return to the squad last month, and has started seven of the last nine matches in all competitions. Chelsea, meanwhile, have been in the market for a new manager for almost six weeks now and former Spurs boss Pochettino looks as though he will be the chosen one, beating the likes of Julian Nagelsmann and Luis Enrique to the post. Pochettino is renowned for his intense, high-pressing style of play which would suit Kunta down to the ground given the relentless engine he possesses. The Telegraph went on to add Pochettino was keen to prize Kunta to Paris Saint-Germain during his time as manager in the French capital, though no move ever materialized. Chelsea are today pointed out as a potential destination for Italian director of football Cristiano Giantoli. That possibility is raised by outlet Corriere della Sera, as they feature a story claiming that despite Napoli's league title, the club chief is not staying there. Giantoli is set to speak to President Aurelio De Laurentiis to rescind his contract with the club, and then get replaced by Pietro Accardi after spending eight years on the job. 
Corriere della Sera then mentions the clubs who are interested in Giantoli, and Chelsea are among them. It said, sirens, come from the Blues, as well as from Juventus and Tottenham Hotspur, who are all looking for a new man for this job. For now, it isn't said whether the director would have a preference for any of those options, and it sounds obvious that they'll analyse all those projects carefully before taking a decision. Rio Ferdinand has warned that Conor Gallagher's Chelsea future is far from certain. The Blues Academy product scored his third goal of the season in a 3-1 win against Bournemouth on Saturday. That result ended interim boss Frank Lampard's six-game losing streak after replacing the sacked Graham Potter until the end of the season. Chelsea are set for a fire sale this summer to comply with financial fair play rules, with Gallagher, whose sale would count as pure profit, one of those potentially on the chopping block. And pundit Ferdinand insisted on his YouTube channel that Gallagher is fighting for his future at Stamford Bridge, and still has a lot to do to prove he is worthy of staying next season. He said, it was a good goal to be fair to him, but he's fighting to stay at the club I think. I think Conor Gallagher and a few others there are fighting for their futures under this new ownership. A new manager is coming in so I think Gallagher still has a lot to do, like the others, to prove he should be there next season. He's a local lad and someone who's come through the academy so I'm sure he will want to stay there. It will be interesting to see what happens to him this summer. The content just ended also ended today's video of AG Chelsea TV, thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.